such a strange experience. Many persons have had things that they have refused to ask the Lord for, even though deep down you really desire it. Hmm. You want to know my perspective? I promised you yesterday I'd give it. The reason we don't ask is because of the quality of the relationship. The stronger the relationship, the more comfortable we will feel to share how it is we really feel and what it is that we really desire. Now, many things can affect the relationship, but it boils down to relationship. Here is the elder son. He says, Dad, you've never done anything special for me. Although I've slaved for you all these years. But this son of yours, wretched, contemptible, embarrassing rascal, dares to show his face back in the community. And you throw him a party. Do you know what I realize? I realize that the first son, the younger son, was not the only son that had gone to a far off country. The elder son was also in a far off country, even though he was still at home. Yes, he was far away from his family. He was there in person. Physically, he was present. But emotionally and spiritually, he was in a distant land. He had no form of relationship with his brother who had gone away. He never missed him. He wasn't concerned about him. He had given up on him. And he had no relationship with his father. His father was seen as one whom he simply had to obey. So I have obeyed your commands. His father was one whom he was not comfortable talking to. He never shared his desire to have a party with his friends. Rather, he just stewed about it and developed resentment and bitterness over the years. His father was one whom he thought was unfair and unreasonable because he dared to be happy about his son's return. He was in a distant land, present but distant. No relationship. He was blaming and resenting his father. He was despising and condemning his brother. Matthew 15 and verse 8 says, This people honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Are we present but in a distant land? Are we singing praises and seemingly glorifying God, but far from him in our heart? How connected are we to our God? Yes, we are in church amongst the brethren every week, once or twice per week. But are we connected? Do we care for each other? Are we a unit? Are we one? Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Though we are in one place, are we on one accord? Do we have relationship? 
do we know each other? Do we know God? Let's think on these things today. And let's talk about them. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let's remember, God is all about relationship. God bless you. Oh,